Right, so here we are folks, and uh, just going to do a simple video, um, or a simple remedy to a common problem, and uh, I fell into this trap, and uh, couldn't see the wood for the trees. Anyway, so um, this applies to games like uh, Wipeout, um, it's, I think it was called Wipeout 2037 in the UK, in Europe, and Wipeout XL in America. Right, so what we've got here is we've got a version of this on the Albernique 450M is it 450M or 350M? I can't remember now um, anyway there's a video about this particular device on the um, channel and uh, anyway what we're looking at here is uh, some of the PS emulators so we've got a PS emulator on here and we'll go into it I can find it. Here we are. Uh, emulators, right? So we go into the PCSX for all. I need my glasses. Okay, read that. I'm looking for my glasses, and they're on my head. Right. So anyway, right. So let's go into the P PlayStation One emulator. And as you can see, right. So that's your sort of menu that you might go into. Um, there's all different menus anyway. Got a PS menu there, folder. Um, as you saw, it came up automatically um, onto Wipeout. So we'll just select that again. There's a load of games in here, as you can see. Downloaded. And it's typical, my uh, message system's going off as soon as I started the video. 2097, what did I say? 2037, wasn't it? Anyway, so we've got 2097 here. Wipeout 2097 Europe. So let's select that. And you'll see there's a bunch of files here. And uh, for ages I couldn't get the music working. So what I did, I was uh, selecting the first file. And as you can see there, you've got track one, track two, track three, track four. But at the top you've got track one. So I was selecting that file and you don't get any music if you select that file so there are actually music files although if you select those um, files it will start the game up so what we're looking for is that last file where it hasn't got anything on the end like um, just says wipeout 2097 europe with no uh, track number so that's our main file to start up the actual program so let's start it up I can't remember the names of the files, but I remember loading up the actual PlayStation 1 disc into a CD player years ago, and you could actually play the song, so it would have been selecting those tracks on the CD player to uh, play the songs directly through a CD player. So anyway, I had a fair bit of uh, trouble there because that file was sort of hidden because I didn't bother stro uh, scrolling down to look for it. get some volume on this so we can hear what's going on sometimes you might get some glitches up as you can see there um, that may or may not appear on whatever emulator you're using so then let's get the intro here if we can and there we are, I've got music and start the game and off we go so I hope this helps I mean it's a silly little thing and obviously you can, you can um, overlook the right file so I'm trying to play this while I've got the camera over the top of the handheld but anyway as you can see or hear um, the music is playing and anybody that is watching this video and has found this video and is watching this video, they will know what I'm talking about. So hopefully if you have found this video, this will help out. And it's just a simple little remedy for um, a little problem. And this applies to other 
games also. There was a game back in the day that I used to like playing. No, I'm not sure how to get on this. Right, quit. And a lot of these emulators, there's a different way, a different method to quit on each emulator. Goodness. Alright, let's try again. <laughs> and the buttons tend to like swap around. Right, let's try another one. There's a game that I liked back in the day, which was Scars. Scars, Scars USA. And there you can see again, because there's tracks here as well. So go to the bottom. Sometimes they might appear at the top. That file may appear at the top. And I think in Retro Arc or Retro Arch it appears at the top. We'll have a look at Retro Arch in a minute and do the same thing. So we've started up Scars. This is a good game back in the day. I'm still playing these games now. Obviously, that's what I've got this uh, Retro Handheld. Not on play. There we go. So as you can hear, the music is playing there as well. And I spent ages playing the game without any music. I thought it was just one of those things to do with the emulator. But obviously it's to do with selecting the right file to start it up. So I used to love this game. I still do. Doing very well. Anyway, there we are. That's how to get the music working on Wipeout and Scars, and it should work with similar games as well. So, also, same again if you've um, got Retro Arch. I think it's Retro Arch, and it's a Retro Arch or Retro Arch. I don't know. Anyway, we'll say Retro Arch for the time being. So, um, on the system here, this is obviously in the uh, Windows PC. We've got our trusty Xbox controller or Xbox emulation controller or a copy of the original controller, which is obviously compatible with this system. Anyone anyway, waffling? We just want to know how to get the uh, game working. So, as you can see here, we've got Wipeout XL, which is just the same version of Wipeout 20, what was it, 2049? I can't bloody remember now. I've forgotten already, 2097. Um, 2097 in Europe, and Wipeout XL in America. Right, so as you can see on here, you've got the tracks here, but we've got the main file to start on the top. As you can see there, with nothing after the main bit. So just start that up, run, and off we go. Job done. Just enlarge that screen. And we should have the music working on this as well. It could be a bit misleading. It's obviously obviously easy to see the file on this version than it is on the the handheld handheld system because the file was at the bottom. So obviously the file's on the top on this system, and it should be the same with other emulators. Or I haven't tried out many other emulators. Like I say, I stick to the ones I've downloaded onto the Ambernik and RetroArch on the PC, which I've also got installed on an Amazon memory stick as well, or an Amazon Fire Stick, I should say, and perhaps we'll uh, um, do a demonstration of that at some point. Anyway, let's get on with it again. Right, so that's the intro, great intro. Oh, you'd love this game as well. This has got to be like, how old's this game? 25 years old, at least. Same again. This would obviously look better on a CRT TV. I've got one in the um, shed, I think. Because you can obviously see the pixels pop out a little bit more with those CRTs. It tends to merge in the pixels. Cathode ray tube TV. Just in case anybody gets annoyed with abbreviations, because I do at times. When people talk in abbreviations all the time. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'm sounding like a grumpy old fart again. Start the game. That's cold storage, I think, that tune. Great. 
great stuff. There's a couple of, I think there's Chemical Brothers, and I, there's a Prodigy, an instrumental of uh, Firestar by the Prodigy on this uh, game as well. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I missed me boost. Can't multitask. So there we are. I actually can't hear any music. Can you? Did I select the right thing? There we go. I was getting a bit worried then. Had a bit of an intro before the main music started. So there we are. Let's like say if that's if you've experienced this problem, this should cure the problem. Because you've got to play this game with the music. And if you played this game back in the day, then you'll want the music for nostalgic authenticity. So there we are. I hope the video helped for those that are watching. And uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching. And over and over now.